Okay, kiddos, welcome to your colligative property pre-lab. Today we're going to be talking about boiling point elevation. And we're going to find the role that a solute has in changing the boiling point of the solvent. The solvent we're using is water. So it's a pretty straightforward lab, pretty easy to follow. Basically what you're going to do is you're going to um, get a beaker of water and uh, you'll set it on your hot plate. And by the way, we can fit uh, two beakers on each hot plate, so you'll be sharing that with a group member. And you will place uh, 100 milliliters of water um, in that beaker. So you're going to use a graduated cylinder for that. You'll want to put this on a level surface, and you can fill this up to the 100.0 mark. Um, so that's pretty easy to do, I think. Let's see if we can get that in view here. So you want to get this level. I'm not making it level with the camera for right reasons, right, obvious reasons right now, but that is about 100.0. And so you'll add this to, to your beaker. And remember the density of water is 1.00 grams per mil. So if you put 100 milliliters of water in that beaker, you have 100.00 grams of water in that beaker. Pretty sweet, isn't it? So we know the mass of water in there. And if you recall, the colligative property for boiling point elevation, uh, the change in boiling point is uh, directly proportional to the molality of the solution. So molality will be moles of solute divided by kilograms of solvent. And in this case, that would be 0 0.100 kilograms. Now you're going to measure that boiling point. So you're just going to get your, your beaker with 100 grams of water in it. You'll allow it to come to a rolling boil, and you'll measure that temperature. So let's zoom in here. I'm not sure if we'll be able to see it very well here, but uh, in fact, we can't. This is, on uh, this thermometer, it's right at 100 degrees Celsius, which is unexpected for here in Salt Lake because we expect the boiling point of water to be a bit lower here at such a high altitude. Nevertheless, we're going to go with that, with that value. Um, please don't assume the boiling point will be 100. These thermometers are not known for their high degree of accuracy, but they are pretty good at measuring changes in the boiling point, which is what we're after today. Okay, so after you've found the boiling point of your water, you can carefully remove the thermometer, and then you will use some beaker tongs, which will be provided for you, to carefully pick up the beaker, and uh, you will move that over to the sink, and you will pour it in the sink as carefully as you can. Remember that is very hot water, so you don't wanna, uh, you wanna be careful not to burn yourself. Okay, then you'll refill that beaker with 100 grams of water, which we did already. And this time you are going to add a solute to it. Now the solute you're going to use is going to be sodium chloride. So here's our balance. We'll use a weighing boat here. And to use this, we'll press the zero button first. And so even though that weighing boat's on there, it registers 0.00, .00 and we'll add approximately 11.6 grams of NaCl. So we can have a little bit more, a little bit less, just so long as we know the amount. And that should be around 11.6. So we're at 11.39 there. I'll use the scupula now, and we'll add a bit more, 11.89. We can remove a bit, 11.74. 11.48, there we go, I think we're probably close enough right there. What do we add? 11.57 grams, that's close enough for us. And so that solute will now place in our beaker of, of water. Remember this has 100 grams of water in it. Place the salt in there. And we'll get a stirring rod, which has been provided for you as well. And we'll stir that so it goes into solution. Might not go into solution right away. In fact, as you know, heating it up should help the solvation process. So I'll put that on our hot plate there. And uh, let's see if we can get that in there. And we'll start heating it. But all that salt will eventually go into solution. Okay, now, according to what we talked about in class, the boiling point should elevate. It should change. It should go higher. And for, uh, for water, it turns out that for each molal solution, the boiling point will raise about 0.52 degrees. So one of the jobs today will define the molality of the solution. There, remember, you have grams of solute, which you can convert to moles, 
and you have kilograms of solvent. Remember, you have 100.0 grams of water, which is 0 0.100 kilograms. I'm going to replace my stirring rod here with my thermometer. And we'll place that in there. Um, and we will wait for it to boil. And you can even use the thermometer if you'd like to stir that to make sure all of your salt goes into solution. So you want that to come to a rolling boil again and you're going to want to record the boiling point of your solution. Then of course you can find the change in the boiling point. So you have the normal boiling point and then you'll have your new boiling point and the delta T you can find. Um, the rest of that, after you collect that data, you'll uh, finish up your lab report and uh, that lab report will be due at the beginning of class next time. So there's data you need to collect up there and some questions you need to answer. So just wrap that up before we see each other in the next class. Alrighty, that's about it. We're not going to finish this up. We, we could wait for that to boil. Um, right now it's at about 75 degrees. Uh, but I'll let you um, experiment on your own and see exactly uh, where that boiling point ends up. Once again, you won't all have the same um, boiling point for your solutions and solvent because the thermometers aren't the best, but your delta T's um, should be pretty similar to each other if you use around 11.6 grams of solute. Alrighty, um, let's see, we'll stop this. We're at about 85 degrees Celsius and it's rising. Let's see how long this video is so far. Well, it's about six and a half minutes. Well, now maybe we could we could bring this over and we could record a final boiling point and get our delta T. Let's see if we can what, what happens here. Maybe we'll listen to a little bit of Zach Brown in the background. Oh, that's happening. So we've reached a rolling boil, but the thermometer is still changing. The temperature is still rising. So I don't want to record my final temperature yet. Okay, let's see if I can zoom in on that. We'll see what our final temperature is. Well, it's about as close as we're going to get. So I'm going to have to read that for you, I'm afraid. Let's see where we're at. Um, we're at about 104. Uh, I'm trying to get to the nearest tenth. It's actually right on 104 degrees, maybe just a tad over 104. So obviously that's a bit higher than the boiling point that we had before we had the salt dissolved in there. Alrighty, that's all you need to do. Uh, collect your data, do the calculations, and see if you can understand what's happening here. So thank you for being here. Enjoy. Bye-bye.